Are you looking for some awesome effects? Get access to thousands of exclusive premium effects, free effects as well, with their super affordable pro memberships. Click the link in the description. What's happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial. It is Wednesday and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this invisibility cloak from Harry Potter. So this is basically a requested tutorial from someone and I just thought like okay the pa almost the past few weeks I've been making such advanced tutorials. I gotta keep going. So this video is also gonna be pretty advanced because you need as you can see right now you need like a green cloth for this that we're gonna use as our cloak obviously then I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it so this is what I'm talking about all right guys so as you can see this is the cloak I'm talking about so let's do this and what's really important guys is if you're gonna use this effect as you can see you want to have the least shadows as possible because if you're gonna do it like that as you can see it has to be like a solid color like this so if you're gonna for example have a lot of wrinkles in it it's gonna be very weird to you know key this out in Vegas Pro 15 so that's basically what you want to do and you just want to go ahead and make sure that you have the less wrinkles as possible so this is basically the effect and if I'm putting it off as you can see right now it is just a green cloth and this is basically how to do it so if you are excited for this tutorial make sure to smash the like button down below also subscribe if you're new and with that being said let's go to Vegas and I'll catch you guys obviously right after the intro <laughs> Okay guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 15, what we're gonna do is we're going to chroma key this guy out and then it will look like it is the invisibility cloak from Harry Potter. Now I want to mention that if you're gonna key this out straight away, it will just look like a black, you know, cloth. So what we need to do is at the end, we need to make a frame where we are not in the screen like here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on this save snapshot to file icon because we need to put this below the footage. We're gonna just call this screenshot and we're gonna drag this in our timeline and we're gonna put this guy below the track of the invisibility cloak. Now that we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the uh, video effects tab, we're gonna click on chroma key right here, this one, we pick the default one and drag it onto the clip. Now what we're gonna do in order to make this guy accurate is uncheck it for a second, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this blue line and then we're gonna pick this icon, pencil icon, click on the green part like that, click, click again, they want to check it and as you can see it is starting to become transparent and we can see through it. Now we need to play around a little bit with the low threshold so let's bring that up and let's bring the high threshold down as you can see like that's like adjust it and customize it or we can also just go ahead and mess with different you know shades of green I would say like this. Keep messing with these markers until it looks very accurate I would say like that. So let's go ahead and play it back. This is the cloak I'm talking about, so let's do this. And then right here I'm putting it on, as you can see. Really important. So if I go ahead and remove the, the screenshot that we just took, as you can see, it is just turning black and you cannot see through it. But if you go ahead and, you know, put the opacity up of the cloak, as you can see like this, it looks like th this is like our invisibility cloak and that is how to create this effect. You just want to use a blanket or a, you know, piece of fabric or that is like green or uh, blue because that's the easiest. And then that's basically how you can do it. And that's how you can make this invisibility cloak into Vegas Pro 15 it is that simple and if you guys have any more requests for tutorials make sure to let me know in the comments down below and this is a really really cool effect guys and obviously you need to do this in proper lighting because I had lighting at the back because I had like this studio light in front of me and I still had some as you can see right here like you know dark shades that the chroma key doesn't pick up which is kind of sad but that's how to do it and that's how it works you need proper lighting but I think I pulled it off pretty good as you can see if I put it like that because as you can see if you do this in good lighting all those dark parts they will be light lit enough and then you won't see anything and that's how you create an invisibility cloak and like I've mentioned don't forget to put a screenshot of an empty room because if I go ahead and mute it as you can see it turns black and you want to see through that so guys this is basically how to create the invisibility cloak not really that long tutorial I just wanted to make this video for you guys so you guys can do this yourself so guys that's it for this 
video. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video, obviously tomorrow on the channel. So thank you for the continued support and I will see you guys obviously tomorrow.